What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about how you go about creating a really nice and slick coming soon page that will sit on your website when your website design isn't quite ready yet. So for those of you who doesn't know what the coming soon page is, it's essentially that little page that you would occasionally see if a website isn't ready or perhaps it is undergoing maintenance. And it's essentially a splash screen that will sit in place of your website and any visitors won't see anything else apart from this page that you create. So let's get cracking. So here we are at your WordPress dashboard. First thing we're gonna to wanna to go and do is head over to plugins. From here, go up to add new and then search in the search box for coming soon. And we're gonna use the one on the top of the list, the coming soon plugin from Seed Prod. Install that one. Wait for it to install, sometimes it takes a little while. Boom, it's done it pretty quickly. Activate that one. Automatically we're taken to the coming soon plugin dashboard. So let's get straight into it. Scroll down. We're not going to change the status of this yet because we haven't finished styling it in the way that we want. So head down a bit further and we are going to add a logo. So head over to media library. Here's my logo. Insert that one. Then we're going to want to add a headline. So let's have we are working on something awesome. And then we also want to add some text. So thanks for popping by. A brand new site will be up and running in no time. And I'll just pop us an email. So this has automatically linked because I've pasted the text. But if you're interested, I have a mail too. And it's going to change that zero to, to an O. There we go. That looks more legit. So there we go. You can add some love if you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. And then you have the option to add some additional information such as your fav icon. Now your fav icon is the image that would usually appear here. But now I'm just going to leave it as well as leaving the SEO title and other SEO information. It's important that we click the save all changes button before we continue. Next on the tab, let's head over to design. We're not really going to use a background color because we are using a background image. So click that one. Select the image that you want to use in the background and it will load it. By all means, if you want to use a background color, it's totally up to you guys. In this example, I'm showing you how to do it with an image. Do I want the background to be responsive? Yes, I want it to scale when the device changes responsive size I want it to cover so it will always cover the size of the screen I'm not going to bother dimming the background background repeat keep those settings the same uh, you can add a max width here I'm just going to set it as 1200 it's pixels that is a pretty standard size and enable well this will wrap your content in a box yep yeah, cool Bit further down, changes the text. I'm going to keep these as they are. So I'm going to go for a slightly gray text. I want my link colors to be red because the page that I'm putting together, the primary color is red on black. And the headline color is going to be white. Here you can choose the font. I'm sticking with trebuchet. And then I'm going to save all changes. So once that's done, you can click this live preview and it will open up another window so we can see what it looks like. So as you can see, our image is in the background. We've got our logo in, we've got the text, so that's exactly what we've written, but we have this box that's appearing. So let's head back over to settings. So here we go, this is what's causing the content to wrap in a box. So we want the box that will confine our content, but we don't want the background that is sitting on the box at the moment. So let's have a look at how we can change that with some custom CSS. Let's head over to the page preview. In your browser, you will be able to inspect Element. In Chrome, it's there by default. I believe in Safari, you need to activate developer tools in order to get this information. 
So here you'll see some of the source code. We want to point this little select element icon here and make sure you select the entire gray box. As you can see here in the code, it is telling us that the div has an ID of this. So what we're going to do is double click that and then copy it. Head back over to your plugin. In the design tab, right at the bottom, you'll see the custom CSS here. Let's paste that in. But beforehand, because it is an ID element, we need to put a hashtag in front of it. Now, hashtag in CSS terms represents any IDs on the page. Then we're going to need an open curly bracket. And then we're going to do two enters and a closing curly bracket. It's important that you close it else the CSS won't work. So in here, I am going to say background and I'm going to put none. Border, I'm going to put none. Let's see what that does. Let's refresh this. Perfect. The background has disappeared and we can somewhat see the text. But as you can see, the positioning is not quite right. So I'm going to try and work on that. Head back over to your plugin, back down into the CSS. Let's just make this box a little bit bigger so you guys can see what's happening here. I'm going to change. I'm going to change the spacing at the top. And in order to do that, we are going to add margin at the top. So here I am going to set it to 25% of the view height, which is the window height that the, the content is sitting in. So to do that, it's 25 U H. Remember your semicolon at the end. Every line has a semicolon and click save changes. Let's refresh that. Perfect. As you can see, the page looks pretty nice. You can read the text and you can see how simple and effective that was. All I've done is added a background image. I've added a logo. I've changed the text that is there by default. And I've added some really basic styling to have it sit in a position which I'm happy with. And I know that visitors will be able to read and understand. Once you're happy, let's go back over to content and we want to enable our common suit mode. Save all changes. Now we won't be able to see this until we are logged out because the coming soon is hidden when you are logged into your WordPress site. So if I log out, and visit the domain, there you have it, all done. So guys, that is literally how easy it is for you to go and create a coming soon page. Now I've shown you how to go about doing it to make something that's pretty nice, but I mean, if you're happy to just go in and activate the plugin, have a little play around with the text, the colors, make it so it looks like your business branding, you will be on your way. And you don't have to stress about when the date of your website is then produced. You can just have this nice coming soon page there. So when visitors are visiting, they know that something is coming soon and they will check back later. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying these, then please remember to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, just pop me a comment. I'm waiting to hear from all you guys. And yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one.